Hello and welcome. Today we are celebrating International Youth Day. With me in the studio are the Secretary General of the United Nations, Mr. Bang Moon, and his special guest for the day, a young student from Mozambique, Raquelina Langa. They met for the first time last year when the Secretary General paid a visit to Raquelina's school in the capital city of Mozambique, Maputo. On that day, Mr. Bang Moon had the opportunity to talk to some of the students and took a question from Raquelina on whether it was possible for a girl like her to become Secretary General of the UN and what she needed to do to prepare herself. Today she is here at the United Nations as a special guest of the Secretary General Ban Ki-moon. Mr. Bum, let me start with you, sir. You went to Mozambique, to Barakalina's country, and invited her to come here to the United Nations. What did you want her to see and experience in the UN? My visit was the first time to Mozambique. Of course, I wanted to have uh, good meetings with uh, leaders, uh, including President Gebuza. And I really wanted to highlight my, one of my priorities, and that is a global education for all initiative. And that's why I went to uh, Raquelina's uh, school uh, in May last year. I explained the uh, importance of education, which can be a foundation of all the challenges. Then suddenly I received an unexpected question from a young girl, uh, Raquelina. Uh, she was asking me whether a girl like uh, herself uh, could become a secretary general. Of course, you know, I was not prepared for that uh, unexpected answer. But I thought that it is good timing that after seven decades of uh, United Nations, why not for any woman leading this organization? I really wanted to send out some strong message to the world that uh, through my answer and through her question, well, you can become a Secretary General. Have a big dream, an ambitious dream, uh, but at the same time practical. I told her that I'm going to invite you to the United Nations. I try to learn more and uh, deeply and what United Nations uh, goals uh, are and what United Nations uh, are doing. That's what uh, she is uh, here today and my invitation as a special guest of the Secretary General. This is for the first time in the history of the United Nations that I have invited a 10th grade young girl uh, from Africa as my special guest. Uh, I'm very glad that she has been meeting a lot of people, uh, including myself, uh, she participated in the International uh, Day of Youth uh, Ceremony today. And I encouraged her to have a big and ambitious uh, dream to realize uh, whatever you want to do. You certainly make, made a history there. That's very interesting. Today is the International Youth Day. So according to your opinion, what is the importance of having young people having a say, but also taking part in UN discussions? As you may know, the half of the population of the world is under the age of 25. Uh, this world is uh, very, very young. In that regard, then we have to do much more for young people. This world is uh, very young. We have to give them a sense of uh, hope so that they will be able to uh, prepare themselves to be the leaders of the future. Uh, that's why in 2012, uh, January, when I was uh, beginning my second term as a Secretary General, I stated to the member states that I have uh, five priorities uh, mm -hmm. for a second term. That includes the <coughs> working for and with the women and the young, uh, young people. Uh, because we can see much more hope in young people and by fully uh, exploring the potential of uh, women uh, who takes uh, half of the population again, and then I think this priority has been very much welcomed. Now it's uh, very meaningful that uh, on the International Youth Day, I have invited Raquelina to this meeting. Uh, sir. This year, the theme is Mental Health Matters. So what is the UN message about the importance of mental health, not only for young people, but also, generally speaking, for everybody? 
Yeah, that is a very serious issues now. <coughs> that is why this year's uh, main theme of International Youth Day is uh, mental health. Uh, how you can uh, have a sound uh, uh, mental health really will affect not only your health, but your sound judgment, your uh, smooth uh, integration and inclusion in the city, uh, in the society. For example, uh, if uh, one is uh, discrim discriminated, uh, isolated, then one cannot have a sound mental health. And by providing some atmosphere in the school, in the family, or in the society, and in the neighborhood, these young people uh, should be uh, cultivated and raised having a sound mental health. Uh, one out of five in the world um, has some mental, uh, one kind of a mental health issues. And that is why we are really uh, uh, focusing uh, on these uh, mental health issues. Thank you very much, Mr. Secretary General. Now let me turn to Raquelina. Raquelina, how was your day today at the UN? Thank you, Mrs. Monique. Thank you, SG. I'm very happy to be at the TV UN. Um, não vou falar muito inglês porque <laughs> falo muito pouco, né? Mas o meu dia de hoje foi but, uh, muito bem privilegiado. Was very privileged. Gostei muito de estar and com o secretário so secretary general. Foi muito mesmo muito. I don't know how many times I'm going to say very, 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 very happy. I liked so much to be here with him today. And there is nothing I could say that would express exactly what I'm feeling right now. But he was fantastic to be able to talk to him directly. Not so many people have this privilege. And I feel honored to have had this privilege. I would like to thank him so much. I learned a lot with him today. And what was the most important thing that uh, you experienced uh, during the day? Because I know you went to the Secretary General's office this morning. Afterwards, you met uh, young people from all over the world. But what was the most important thing? Most important important well, the most important thing I learned is during the youth summit is that the young people there made me realize that it's possible that one day I could express myself about my life, about my biography. They shared their own stories, they shared stories of suicide attempts, and I was very impressed uh, that, you know, now their life to tell their own stories of suffering and that they're able to share this in public. And uh, I myself learned that one day I can have the courage to share in my country with others issues uh, related to the importance of mental health and the impact it has. Raquelina, I know when you met the Secretary General, you asked him, uh, you know, uh, if one day you could become the Secretary General yourself correct? Now, let's imagine today you are voted in as the Secretary General, the actual Secretary General of the United Nations. What would be your first action on this job? Bem, eu sempre fui uma menina curiosa. Well, eu perguntei, tipo, brincadeira, estava girl. brincando mesmo. Então, mas mesmo, ao mesmo tempo, eu estava muito but curiosa, se queria saber. E sete que o secretário agora é o oitavo. So, I know that now the SG is the eighth uh, secretary general. Do secretariado. Por que não houve uma mulher? And she wants to know, I wanted to know why is there no woman? I saw the pictures of all the Secretary General in the corridor. As far as the problems that I would tackle, there are a lot of problems I would need to tackle. 
first diseases, mental health, uh, for example, uh, the issue of wars and conflicts, some countries that become independent and then face civil war, like mine. So tackling all these issues and having more control over wars and diseases saber como lidar com and isso. to e learn how to deal um with all these high level viajar, problems é muito and the challenge of Eu doing all of this and traveling aqui. it's very very tiring é I know now corajoso, and I think that é uh, you as you are very brave Eles and courageous to be traveling so much assim, and to spend so little time gerar, with your family. This uh, é really um surprises me. It's a very big challenge. I always like challenge. And uh, I think I would, I would enjoy what doing do this Secretary myself. General, is that a good working plan for the start? Uh, yes, uh, I was very much impressed by her uh, vision. Uh, she may be one of uh, tens of millions of uh, many girls who would have uh, very ambitious uh, dreams and beautiful dreams and plans for the future. Uh, she was a little bit uh, quite ambitious, even more ambitious, audacious, uh, asking, can I become a Secretary General? I think that kind of a spirit uh, to explore one's future will be very important. I told her uh, today, uh, you may have uh, many uh, ideals and dreams, but uh, try to uh, set uh, a vision and try to achieve, the work hard to achieve this one, uh, rather than you know, wavering between the priorities and goals. And that's what uh, I have asked her to uh, pursue. Uh, of course, you know, the situation and circumstances may not always allow, but when there is a firm, strong will, uh, one can achieve it. Uh, and I'm very much impressed that she has already understood and she knows a lot about what the United Nations is doing. Uh, she knows what uh, she wants to do uh, if and when sh she were uh, elected uh, Secretary General. That I need to have s to see from many young people, uh, not only Raquel, in, uh, uh, but many young people should have this kind of uh, a vision uh, to become a global citizen, global citizen, yes. Now, before you go, I'd like to ask you, Raquelina, when you return to Mozambique, what are you going to tell your friends, your family, your colleagues at school about this experience in the UN? Bem, eles estão esperando mesmo com essa My idade. Eu não sabia que anxious um dia um monte de pessoas iriam I'm ficar orgulhosas de mim. Por isso eu vou compartilhar com eles tudo o que eu aprendi, inclusivamente de ter o privilégio de ter tido como secretário-geral, sentar nas cadeiras mais privilegiadas, que só sentam os presidentes e os ministros. Então hoje me senti num cargo muito enorme e é muito bom, estou muito emocionada e sem palavras do que eu word about what I was able to live here Sir, today. your last words. Thank Would you. Would you like to uh, say anything else? Raquel, uh, we discussed a lot and you have understood all, you have seen uh, all what the United Nations is doing. Uh, try to uh, always uh, think about what you can do for others. Uh, <coughs> you may be also living in a very difficult situation, but Remember that there are so many people who would be less fortunate, uh, who would be having more difficulty than you are doing. So uh, always uh, thank uh, yourself uh, for what uh, this kind of opportunity is given. Uh, not all are given this opportunity and privilege. And then what you need to do is uh, think about other people living in uh, neighboring countries in other parts of the world and try to uh, raise your and raise and widen your vision uh, for a global issues so after all this world may be big but very small everything is interconnected very small world 
So we are one family members of this uh, small world. And then what we need to do is, instead of thinking about Mozambique, instead of thinking about only Africa, think about Asia, Europe, and Middle East, and Latin America, and try to become a global citizen. And that is what I'm asking all the young people. Now, forget about your country, your home, and try to uh, think about the how we can live together where everybody can live without any fear, any poverty, any uh, sickness. And that is the world which we are working for. So I wish you uh, all the best. And uh, when you go back to your school, share all your experience with your friends. And I'll be watching you. And if you uh, have anything, uh, just uh, write uh, me an email or telephone. And I'll always be happy to communicate with you, to maintain this uh, good relationship. I wish you all the best. Very well said. Thank you very much, Mr. Secretary General Ban Ki-moon and Raquelina Langa for your interview. Muito obrigada. Kamsa Hamida. Muito obrigado. Muito obrigado. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you.